What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today the Winnipeg Jets have claimed Carson Kuhlman off waivers from the Seattle Kraken. I don't really understand this pickup to be honest. I mean the Jets do have quite a bit of depth in the organization for what Carson Kuhlman is and he's really just a defensive specialist forward. He's not really going to light it up in the scoring department at all if that's what you were hoping for. He's definitely just a defensive guy and he's not really going to produce a lot of points for you. They do have him listed at center, however he has been playing predominantly right wing throughout his NHL career. Through 14 games with Seattle this season, he does have the one goal and two assists. He was put on waivers because Eli Tolvanen got claimed by Seattle yesterday, so they had to drop somebody and that was Carson Kuhlman. Winnipeg signs him, they've been after him for a while from what I've heard anyway. Fun little fact about him is he was teammates with Dominic Toninato and Dylan Sandberg at the University of Minnesota Duluth, so an interesting connection there. He's not an overly large guy either, he's only 5'10", 184, and he's 27 years old at this point, so it's not like there's any development that's gonna be coming his way or anything, so he really is what he is, and I do think that he's probably just a 13th, 14th forward kind of guy for the Jets going forward here. But if they are looking to add some defense, if Rick Bonus isn't happy with how the fourth line's playing, if he needs to add another penalty killer, then I think Kuhlman's a really good pickup. It wouldn't shock me if in the future he does go back on waivers, um, if somebody gets healthy and they have to reactivate somebody. Um, but for right now, I do like the Carson Kuhlman signing. I don't think it's anything special. I don't think it's going to be, you know... The signing of the century or anything like that but it's just a depth guy and it's not like it's a big risk or anything for Winnipeg cap wise either he's only got the one year deal at eight hundred and twenty five thousand dollars so right now you know Winnipeg does have some injuries with Saku Manalainen down of course uh, Mason Appleton is still out due to injury and Nikolai Ehlers is probably out for a little bit over a month still uh, but that does mean that the Jets do need bodies, and Mikey Isomont has filled in nice. Kenny Stenland, at the time of making this video, will make his Jets debut against the Vegas Golden Knights. So if the Jets aren't satisfied with Kenny Stenland, maybe they, you know, give Carson Kuhlman a shot. And I wouldn't be opposed to that. Just a nice defensive shutdown guy uh, could really make a really nice shutdown line with David Gustafson, who's also a defensive specialist. Uh, however, I would like to see Gustafson find his game a little bit more offensively, as that does seem to be the main issue with him currently, but I do believe the offense will come for him. Rick Bonus added that he was unhappy with his fourth line, so maybe this signing does have something to do with it. Maybe he's bringing in more competition to try to push his guys. I do think that that could be a scenario, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens with Carson. Maybe he can stick around. Maybe he'll be a nice little surprise signing. Who knows? But with that said, guys, I'm going to hop on out of here not really a ton to talk about with this signing just a really nice defensive specialist fourth liner um, I'd love to hear what you guys think down below in the comments do you like the signing or do you think it was unnecessary let me know leave a like and subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next video have a great day bye bye